everybody, I want you to take a quick look at this green Jeep right here. Green JKU 2010 4x4 automatic. It's got a lift kit. It's got, um, you know, some upgraded tires on it. Those are 35 by 12 and a half on a 17 inch factory Jeep five star wheel. Um, it's a Wrangler Unlimited Sahara. It's got the uh, factory bars on the bottom. It does have flat fenders. It's got a hard top with the Freedom top. And it's actually a pretty clean Jeep. But anyways, guys, you've seen just a brief little synopsis of this Jeep. Now, I'm going to talk to you real quickly here. I'm going to give some of y'all Jeepers out there a few pointers. And some of the rookie Jeepers out there, they've never owned a Jeep, but they're out on the car lots. They're looking for one. They want to get a deal. But at the same time, you want to get a Jeep that's maybe even got some parts already on it because hey at the end of the day you're trying to save yourself some money you like the look it's sitting higher and all that and you're thinking in your head at some point you want to do some off-roading stay with us let's talk about all this. right guys we're back in the Jeep here now here's all I wanted to kind of mention today you know I've noticed this with Jeepers you know a lot of people that own Jeeps um, not everybody but a lot of them that I meet seem to be know-it-alls they know everything about everything on a Jeep right and I get it that's fine you know you do your research you're you're building a Jeep you know you're buying stuff you're researching and you learn about it right but here's a young man 18 years old coming in today he's in the military and uh, he wants a Jeep to buy his wife he's already married how about that and anyways they got a certain budget in mind okay and uh, you know I got the deal on this Jeep right here worked out perfectly right at his limit okay and uh, anyways he was super excited happy about it well he sends a picture of the Jeep to one of his friends that has a Jeep Grand Cherokee that's lifted and it's got some work done to it, okay? And uh, anyways, long story short, the friend messages him back and says, oh, it doesn't have a high-end lift on it. It doesn't, you know, it's just this, that, and the other, okay? Basically, the guy downgrades the Jeep a little bit, right? And next thing you know, the young man's telling me and the boss man here at the store that, um, you know, he's just going to have to maybe pick something else because it doesn't have a super high-end expensive suspension lift on it. You know, the rough country lift is just not good enough, right? You know, and I had to tell this young man, I said, look, you know, you can take all the advice you want from your friend. But he's not here today buying this car. It's not his money. He's not going to be paying the car payment on the Jeep. You are. And at the end of the day, your friend can give you all the advice you want, but you can always get an upgraded suspension kit later, okay? And that's all I'm going to say, guys. You know, you want a Jeep? Great. That's fine and dandy. If you can find one that's got a lift on it, bigger tires and some upgrades, great. If it don't have the most high-end expensive stuff on it, you know, but it's already got some stuff done to it, but the main thing is, is get the Jeep. Buy the Jeep, okay? Get the Jeep. You can always do your upgrades and all that stuff later down the road. And that's what I explained. So anyways, he walked outside and started looking at every other Jeep on the lot. I couldn't get him at the numbers he wanted to be on these other ones that have higher end, more expensive parts on it. And at the end of the day, the young man walked up and he said, all right, I'm going to pick the green one that we were talking about. So he's buying the Jeep. So at the end of the day there, guys, once again, you know, you can take all the advice you want from your friends about buying a vehicle but again you are the one here at the store you're the one spending your money your hard-earned money that you work for on it and uh, they're not okay and that's what we call a car attorney a car attorney so anyways guys I'm super excited that the guy's buying a Jeep he was here with his family last night and he came back today like he said I'm here on my day off working to get this deal and he's taking home this beautiful four-wheel drive Wrangler all right guys that's it I hope that was a little bit helpful to you get in that comment section and let me know what you think about the Jeeps and um, what would you do in these types of situations we'll see you soon